A Melbourne pedophile priest showed children a body in a coffin, carried a gun to school and held a knife against a child's chest, an inquiry has heard. More than 450 children have been sexually abused in the Archdiocese of Melbourne, mainly by priests, the Child Abuse Royal Commission says. One was Father Peter Searson, described by a fellow priest as a bizarre human being who the commission had indecently assaulted a girl during confession. During his time at Doveton Parish there were complaints about Searson carrying a handgun at school, animal cruelty and showing a body in a coffin to children. He had children sit on his knee, or kneel between his legs during confession, and frequented the boys' toilets, counsel assisting the commission Gail Furness, South Carolina said. Sears and also held a large knife against a child's chest in 1993. Miss Furness said there was no serious investigation of any complaint made about Sears and during the 1980s and early 1990s. Former priest Philip O'Donnell said Sunbury Parish sisters told him Searson, who he described as a psychiatrically disturbed man, was taking children into his room for sex education. Mr. O'Donnell said he thought Searson would be dealt with, but nothing was done, and then Melbourne Archbishop Prankettle did not act until he could avoid scandal. The Archbishop, when given voluminous specific data on matters of scandal, that would have damaged the church, and the reputation of the church, chose not to act, Mr. O'Donnell said. And when he found an administrative reason that was non-scandalous, he acted, to use my word, ruthlessly or decisively. The Commission heard the Church has paid $16.8 million in compensation since 1980 to people abused in the Melbourne Archdiocese, with the highest number of complaints against Oakley Parish priest Gavin O'Donnell. The Archdiocese knew about abuse complaints against Gavin O'Donnell as early as 1958, but Miss Furness said nothing was done to protect children to whom he had access as a priest. Miss Furness said another Melbourne priest, Father Ronald Pickering went on extended leave after a complaint was made in 1986 that he sexually abused a boy at a Garden Vale parish. Nothing was done following this complaint. The evidence will be that he continued to offend. Miss Furness said current Melbourne Archbishop Dennis Hart will tell the inquiry there was a complete failure of process in how the Archdiocese handled abuse complaints in the Doveton parish.